As we mentioned earlier, the 24 Expedition order banks opened up today. Very um, soft opening for this one. Not a major changes on the 24 Expedition. Not a, a refresh year. Uh, we did have a new redesign in 22. Uh, so that typically happens every three years. So we'll probably be next year for that. So not a lot of major changes. Just a few uh uh, just a few. So order banks opened up today. Uh, order guides are supposed to be available yesterday. They did become available this morning, uh, which is nice. Um, but um, so here are a couple different of the changes. I actually did a video on this, so you can check it out if you want to. Um, so we'll just do a quick fast on this. So in fact, let's go over to the build in price. Let's see if I can do this right. Boom. All right. What's with the dog for dealer news? Uh, the dog is carrying a newspaper. He's carrying a newspaper the news okay. yeah all right um so they have removed a couple colors for this year so you see this is the 24 expedition in fact if you go to i'll go back if you go to for uh, shop and actually they made it easier on this one ranger it's a little different so if you look at ranger 23 yeah where's the 24 ranger you actually gotta go way down here to find ranger um to the future ones but they did it in the Mustang the same way. But on Expedition, they made it easy on us, and they put it right here. So um, so there's two colors they did away with for this year um, that they're not doing, and that's Infinite Blue Metallic Tinted Clear Coat and Forged Green, which is your mom's color. Mm. So, but new for this year, and it's hard to tell the color, is Wild Green. So I'm like, I can't wait to see that. And I'm like, well, that actually is the same color as the Forged Green. <laughs> technically so if you look at the 23 forged green it looks much lighter than that on here like forged green looks like almost a lime and it's not i'm like is it not that color even with the most sun on it uh, it's not that color this actually is pretty accurate in what forged green looks like so we'll see uh, makes me think that wild green is going to be darker than this um is my is my gut on that so um hopefully ford authority i'm sure ford authority will find one out so look for ford authority maybe they'll show what the wild green actually looks like uh, anyway that we have that new color out this year um blue cruise change for this year as well so um the same as the other so on the platinum edition or the platinum trim you can get blue cruise just like last year but last year where it was included with a free three-year subscription this year, it's like the mach -E now, where you do not get a three-year subscription. You get a 90-day trial with the hardware there. And then if you want to prepay, you can do that with a three-year optional uh, purchase. of tw And it's $2,100. And the reason I tell you that is because if you go here, um, Platinum Trim is the one you're supposed to be able to get this on, Platinum Trim. It is not showing on build and price. I'll be doing videos on all these and I'll be highlighting that out, but it is not, if you look through here, it is that option of adding the three year prepaid subscription for $2,100 is not on build and price anywhere. Not only that, but the build, uh, but the, um, but on the price list that probably is out in the expedition forums does not show it as well. Cause I was looking on there and said, well, well how much is it? I assume it's $2,100, but I don't know but it is not on the price list either. So I built one out today so I could see what it would cost. So I built out a platinum with the uh, with adding that. Uh, it is a, a certain option code, and that's how I found out that it is $2,100. But as you can see, it's nowhere to be listed in there. So anyway, so if you want to prepay, it's $2,100 just like it is on the Mach-E. Again, is it worth $800? Well, actually, it's less than $800 bucks there. But if you get it ahead of time, it's only $700 a year. <laughs> Still wouldn't pay for it. Anyway, um, they updated the navigation system for this year. So last year, there was two options. There was a the connected navigation. So you got three months a trial, and then you had to pay for the subscription after that. Um, or you got the built-in connected. This year, they're going to one navigation pricing and one navigation called connected navigation and streaming surface so you get one year free uh, when you buy on all trims that have the navigation so um, then after one year you'll have to pay for a subscription after that so at least they're making it simple and making it just the same for all of them so um, the tow hooks um, on the four by fours um, that was uh, available. The tow hooks are standard on all 4x4s. Now you have to not only have 4x4, but you also have to have to have the heavy duty trailer tow package as well. Um, but it's also on all timber lines. So you don't there. Um, let's see what else. 
A USB Type C is being added to the second row seats. So you have an A and a C now for those. Uh, I love using the USB C port. Uh, running boards. So when you go to, actually, let's talk about the rails first. So this year, and I love how Ford doesn't have this stuff updated on their website. So I just, sometimes I just laugh about it. Yeah, all you can do is laugh. All right. So on the um, 600A, which is the Platinum, as well as the 400A, which is the King Ranch edition, they have changed the roof rack rails to where they're supposed to, the end caps, which is down here on the, on the, the end of those, those are supposed to be black this year instead of chrome. And then, but still chrome rails. So I noticed they have not updated the image for this year. So they got the building price, but they don't have all the right images. In fact, let's go to the XLT because there's something else I want to talk about. You'll notice on the XLT, uh, we've actually talked about being a constraint for the slide side running boards with a chrome accent on the 202A and on the limited 301A. Uh, so they were making the black running boards. Well, now that that's the way it's going to be for this model year. Okay. So it's going to be black, but look at this. So black running boards are supposed to be standard on this. Well, when you go to the 202A equipment group, <laughs> no running boards. <laughs> so I love the first few months with the ordering system. Ford, you need to fix that because that's because broken. <laughs> there are so many things. Um, Somebody forgot to get that to the, I mean, it was pretty easy. You just could have left the picture the same. I mean, so question, <laughs> we now have a new that's green, funny. wild green. Yes. Is there also eruption green? No, there never there wasn't last year either. Last year was forged green. Last year was forged green. How many greens are they going to come up with? There is an eruption green on the Bronco. Right. But not on the there wasn't on the okay. forged green. So eruption green is on Bronco. You have forged green. You also now have wild green and But there's not going to be a forged green. That's going away. Right. But they they also have the forest green. For the Ranger, for the Force Splash package. Yes, that's discontinued as well. I know, but still, why, how many greens <laughs> do you need to make? Well, it's the new gray. <laughs> um, <laughs> here, here's the deal. So something to take note of is, is that you notice Forge Green is going away from the Expedition. Explorer has Forge Green as well. So expect 4 and 24 that to go away of the Explorer. So if you are thinking about that, you might keep that in mind when you're looking at the Explorer. So, all right. Okay, so that's Expedition Changes. 23 model year Super Duty. Order Bank is closing on all trims. Uh, a lot of them aren't available anyway, um, because I actually had said this, I think it was last day. Why don't they just can't, don't just, just shut down the Super Duty altogether? Because there's not many things you can order. So they listen to me. So they're going <laughs> to close it down this, uh, was it the 16th? So in three days, Friday uh, is the last day you can order a Super Duty in any configuration. Now, uh, those are closing up. Uh, you have till the 30th to do COVP on those. Um, it says 22 to 23 model year. If you have a customer with a 22 Super Duty retail order that has not scheduled, you're encouraged to place a 23 Super Duty retail order for that customer. You should have done that by now. <laughs> Some of these things I'm like, Really? You should have done that back in November um, 23 to 24. Please note that there is no intention of providing a model year transition offer for those customers who do not get their 23 Super D built and need to reorder 24. Um, what else? Webdo will allow dealers to modify specs on existing retail orders after the retail order bank has closed, but you can't go to a trim that's been can't that's been closed. Like you can't go from Lariat to King Ranch. King Ranch is closed. Um, and then let's see what else. Um, Twenty three model year Super D dealer stock inventory ordering will remain open, but again, retails will always be looked at first. So there you go. All right. Speaking, keep going on the Super Duty bandwagon here. This one uh, that uh, we've actually talked about in the past. I mentioned it several live streams ago. On the King Ranch and the Platinum, you're encouraged to add the option of, or adding this option called Multi Contoured Seat Removal 91X to a King Ranch and Platinum order to assist with scheduling. So basically, that removes the multi contoured seat from your order. So it says uh, it will give you a discount of $300, which, and it will not be able to be retrofitted on later. So you won't be able to add this later after it schedules. You won't be able to do it after it comes into the dealer. 
it will not be able to be available to be done. It says dealers should communicate with the customers who have unscheduled King Ranch and Platinum orders equipped with the multi-contour seat to have the, the potential to schedule opportunity with the multi-contour seat removal. So they should just well move remove that completely from the order guide because it's been a problem on the F-150 and now on this, just remove it all together. All right. Couple more things. One of them is on the Mustang Mach E. So that came out today uh, to remind um, dealers to tell their sales guys about the new job aid that's available on the Mustang Mach E. And what it does, it's kind of cool. It actually compares job one versus job two. So they can help their customers uh, understand the difference and say, hey, I have a job one order or I have a job two. So anything ordered May 1st or later is a job two um, production order. All right, so the pricing for job two is what they're going to get. Anybody that had a job one that is not scheduled yet, uh, or I mean that isn't built yet, that isn't going to be repriced because uh, they did change the pricing on job two. You will not get that, but you will get a two thousand dollar bonus cash um, for that those orders. Um, also, your Blue Cruise won't be any different. So you'll have Blue Cruise one point two. And so, which was standard for a three-year service on all trims other than select, and select could add it on theirs for $1,900. So that won't change. So they'll actually probably be better off because it's going to be, you know, those trims now come with it instead of having to pay $2,100. Also, the mobile power cord was standard on all the trims prior to May 1st, um, whereas job two now is $500. So it's not standard on a Mach-E. Anything ordered after May 1st, you had to, if you wanted the mobile power cord, you have to add it. It's $500 more, as well as if you want the Blue Cruise for three years, you got to add the $2,100 option for that. Um, other than that, destination delivery charge did go up for those uh, ordered after May 1st, but it will not be added to the ones before May 1st. Um, so actually, there's a page two where they actually compare um, each of the different, a couple different scenarios in here saying, well, for instance, if you had a select rear wheel drive from job one, um, your end price would be like 45, seven. Uh, they just gave it an instance there with the mobile power cord was included and where the destination uh, charge was and everything that actually it would come out about, um, $500 more than job two. So that's pretty close. Um, if a job two order, since it's, even though it's cheaper, when you figure in because of that rebate, it's going to be only about $500 more because they have to pay for the mobile power cord, whereas they didn't have to for job one. So they gave several scenarios where they're actually showing like if you're a premium standard range rear wheel drive, then you're actually coming out $800 ahead um, of a 20, a job two um, because of that $2,000 uh, private offer they're giving you or a rebate they're giving you. Um, so, Anyway, and then they're saying on a route, California route one, you're actually $3,600 ahead. So it's actually cheaper as a job one. So they're trying to encourage people to have a job one, not feel like that they're getting, um, you know, taken advantage of because they didn't, should they just cancel that order and put in a 20, uh, a job two one, but you should feel okay that you have a job one. Um, lastly, I want to talk about is a actually a Ford News. Actually, we're talking about that. I look those up every week, every day. So here's a Ford News that came out this week uh, on actually June 8th. So right after a live stream last week, um, Ford had said they are on track for the F-150 Lightning to be able to pick up the production, especially on the XLT trim. So their goal is that they think that any order that's in the order bank right now, that they can take delivery as early as September. Uh, for those. So that's their goal. They are ramping up. Their hope is to be able to build 150,000 of those uh, this in it within a, a year. And uh, so this this is the biggest. Uh, finally, we're seeing XLT trim being produced in a higher number this summer. Um, so in fact, I noticed a lot of ours um, got, got scheduled for August build dates. So I think the last one was an August 28th build build date for the ones that just got scheduled today. Um, but all of our ones that had reservations and orders from reservations put in, they've all been scheduled for August build dates. So it's really encouraging to see. Also, starting in next year, well, they're going to be able to use, have adapters to be able to use the Tesla chargers. So not to forget, I don't know if I mentioned that in the live stream, but that's kind of a cool uh, cool addition as well. So they'll be given adapters so you can use the Tesla superchargers. So 12,000 of those. So now you're all kinds of places to charge. 
and maybe they're a little more dependable than <laughs> EAs. I don't know.